Hey guys, Spartan from SpartanTrain.com. I want to hit you guys with a trade review today. And today I want to talk about uh, Target. Now, I want to talk about a little bit of the environment that we're in and how my thought process is working in this environment. Environment's a little bit choppy. When the market gets choppy, I start to go, okay, what are the things or what are the names that are going to have the most momentum? Typically the names with relative strength. Now, if we want to find the names with relative strength, it's pretty easy. We can look at the biggest movers for the day, the last day, the previous day before that. And then what we want to do is try to find similarities between these um, stocks. You know, the environment right now is obviously Fed is raising interest rates. We had high PE tech names come in or tech names come in in general. Market came in and money was rotating into certain sectors. And the certain sectors that were rotating into were mainly defensive names, names that were going to or that should be able to do well in any sort of environment. If the Fed raises interest rates, typically people have less money to spend. So there's certain companies that should do better in that environment. Discount retailers were the first, one of the first environments that I thought about. And we saw that in cost. Now, this is how I came up with, the, with, the, with some of the um, uh, trade ideas in the last couple of days. I simply just went Costco. Okay, that has clear relative strength. Let's put this up on the board. Let's go to the discount stores. Let's look at all the big discount retailers there is. So we got Walmart, you know, Target, blah, 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 blah. I then just look at the snapshot of the charts and look for the ones with the best charts. Now, Costco, obviously, big breakout, beautiful chart. Uh, Dollar General is a nice looking name as well. Didn't take that one. DLTR, Ollie, PSMT, bullish consolidation, Target. This one caught my eye, downtrend break, ready to break out of that range to the upside. Broke the range today, or broke the downtrend today. So this is one that I did go after. And I also did go after Walmart as well, because it was set up just like Costco was on that range break to the upside. So I'm looking for similarities between the names that are already running. Those names on Sympathy are likely to act the same or similar to them, typically not giving you the same or exact amount of room to the upside, um, but they will give you that type of, a, of breakout. So Walmart, we did take Walmart. Uh, yesterday we took 155 calls. We did decided to swing that on that all-time high range breakout. We ended up getting 1,000% on those calls. It had gave us literally no indication to sell it. I was mainly watching Walmart uh, when I swing things overnight, by the way, guys, I watch it on the hourly chart to see if the trend's holding. If it holds on the hourly chart, I hold my position. So this little pop in the morning pullback, we actually just rolled into um, higher strike calls on that, and then we held that the entire day, sold on this pop into the 157s. Um, you know, we ended up getting 1,000% on Walmart. I was just looking for a 1,000% move on that contract, and we exited it at that level. And then Target was the other one today, which is not as obvious as Walmart. Again, this one is a downturn break on the daily. I figured that Target hasn't really ran yet. It didn't run yesterday. It's got to play catch up or should play catch up with Costco. If I'm a betting man, which I am, and if I'm going to be trading, I'm going to be looking at names that are similar to Costco um, in uh, you know valuation, similar to Costco and kind of what they offer, et cetera. And Target seemed to be one of the better sympathy plays that hasn't ran yet. I think Walmart's probably the best that's very similar to it. And then I'd say Target probably secondary and there's some other names that you could look at as well. Uh, but Target, Daily chart looked great. Um, one of the things I was looking at was it to push to the top of that range, 229.96. Ended up grabbing the 225 calls out the gate this morning. Uh, and we got a nice little push into that 225 level. I thought we would get into that resistance, maybe not break it today. We ended up breaking through it, getting to the 229, um, which is the top of that range. So we did hit that ultimate price target I had on it. And if that level breaks, I'm thinking 236 is tomorrow. But that's how I developed the idea. It gave us no indication to sell this name completely the entire day. It just rolled the EMA, um, support to the upside trend was intact. It was very bullish um, price action all day. And of, and of course, when the market's pulling back and you see these names running, then you should you know trigger in your head, that's relative strength. What's actually running on relative strength? And start looking for sympathy across the board. That can help you guys a lot. So just a little trade review on Target um, and Walmart. Target ended up being like, I don't know, five or 600% trade. Um, it's, you know, should go up more. And the Walmart, of course, we got a thousand percent on that. So hopefully this gives you guys a little bit of insight into my thought process. I think it should help. Um, otherwise, yeah, thanks for watching. We do videos every single day, daily recaps, as well as educational videos on Thursdays. We do streaming on Wednesdays. And also guys, free Discord link uh, in the link in our bio. Click on it, come to the Discord. Got some great free content for you there as well. Thanks for watching. Have a good rest of your day.